Welcome back to another how-to episode from Panasonic Pro AV. The series consists of a number of videos that we'll use to cover questions that we frequently get asked. In this episode, we'll be looking at a rather neat virtual USB software and what it can do for you. So what is virtual USB? It's a free piece of software that converts up to five Panasonic PTZ cameras on a network to become USB cameras. The main benefit of this really comes with video conferencing applications such as Microsoft Teams, Zoom, WebEx, or Google Hangouts as an example, which are all intended to receive a USB input. This enables high quality video and meetings to progress smoothly with a simple installation on the network and the PC. So let's take a look at how we can download this free piece of software and get started. First, I'm gonna to go to the Panasonic Pass page and select the software download. From here, we can select virtual USB driver, which can download for Windows. Once I've completed the install procedure, I'm then greeted by this icon, which is the virtual USB application. How virtual USB works is it's converting our RTSP streams into usable USB devices. It's not just our PTZ cameras that can be used, but also our CX camcorder series in a recent update. In this example, we're gonna use PTZ cameras. Inside virtual USB, we have an inbuilt network tool, much like EasyIP. We can auto search, and here I have three cameras in the studio connected, the AWUE4, HE42, and UE150. If I need to change any of the network device settings, I can hit network settings and simply adjust, again, much like EasyIP. So now I'm going to add these cameras into the interface. So now that the cameras are added, we can see the status is online, we have the stream settings, and we have the video format. What's also important is to make sure that we have the video priority mode set to IP in the PTZ cameras. So for example here, if I go to the AWE4, we can easily access the web control, access setup, type in our username and password, and then make sure IP is selected. Inside image and audio, we can also customize the resolution and the frame rate. A unique case for the UE4 and also in the camcorder series, it's not just the video that can be taken over, it's also the audio included with the embedded microphone. Now I've made sure each PTZ is set to video over IP priority mode, I can then open a conferencing application and here we're gonna use Zoom. I can simply start a meeting and then have the option to select our video and audio devices. In this case, Panasonic AV Stream Camera 3 is going to be the UE150. Once I start the video, we can then have it come through. And this is the completely converted RTSP signal to USB. I can simply switch between the different cameras as well, which makes it great in different types of meeting rooms where we might have multiple PTZs or even a camcorder. We also have the option for the microphone, and in the case for the UE4, we can also select this in the virtual microphone setting from the virtual USB driver. So we're gonna take a look at another application, which is Panopto, a popular lecture capture software. Again, in the same process, I can select AV Stream Camera 3, and then I can also select the audio if I desire, and we have it here again in the studio. So we're not using any additional peripherals such as HDMI, SDI, we're just using our network cables, which are connected, configured, and ready to go, and taking our video signals and audio signals straight into the applications that we need to, with the option as well of splitting the RTSP signals into different devices that we need to. That concludes how we set up virtual USB and get started with different video conferencing applications. So thank you very much for watching.